Hi, we have a lovely guest today. And so I'll just let you introduce yourself for What's Working Wednesday. Okay. Thank you for having me today. Um, my name is Dana Gillum and I serve as the youth, children and youth and college ministry person for, at First Methodist Church in Fayette. I've been on staff um, here at First Methodist for about 11 years now. And so ministry has um, been different this, these days. Yes. So today, will you tell us about one outreach ministry program that's working really well for you at your church right now? Yes, um, we have the four, five, six um, exit ministry. It's for exit four, five, six. It's led by our children's minister, August Junkin. Um, I know a lot of times during the summer times we place ministry on hold because there's so many um, students that are in and out on vacation, but. August has been able to um, continue to meet with her children. In the beginning of the pandemic, she was meeting um, virtually via Zoom, but then um, she was also able to, in the last month or so, uh, use our park. We have a local park that is super nice and it has a really big pavilion. And so August has been gathering her fourth, fifth and sixth graders there. And because um, other churches have kind of put their ministries on hold, she has been able to um, have other kids join them from other churches. And so it's been an ecumenical thing. Um, and it's really bonded those kids, not that they are able to sit close to each other because the pavilion is, is big. And so they're able to practice social distancing, but also meet face to face um, and be connected in that way. What's making it work so well? Maybe one to two things. I think the thing that works so well for that right now is the connectivity. Um, I know a lot of times that because of the pandemic and we've been able to, we've had to stay socially distanced um, and we've not been able to connect face to face because God created us for community. Um, that has been a hindrance, but because they have been able to meet um, and connect in that, in that environment, um, I think that is what has made that work so well and, and draw so many um, students in. Absolutely. What's your biggest challenge as a church? I think our biggest challenge um, as a church at this point in time is um, communication and connectivity. Mm -hmm. um, I know in the very beginning of this um, pandemic, we weren't able to meet and we it was interesting, how are we going to communicate with our with our congregation? Because we have so many, it's a multi-generational, you've got really young um, children and then you have the, the senior citizen age. And so right. the ones that are connected so much so through digital media and their digital devices, you have to present, communicate with them differently than you do your older generation who may not have computers. And so that was a challenge. That's been probably one of the biggest challenges. Um, we have had to be creative and come up with new ideas um, in order to communicate with com all the generations. Right. What's making you the most hopeful, even though we don't know when we will back, we'll be back to normal? I think being able to communicate again with each other. Um, what has brought hope to me um, in the last probably two months is we have kind of went back to the basics where mm -hmm. it's easy to pick up your device and send a text message, um, but that's not as personal. And so we have kind of implemented the old phone tree method where I call, I physically pick up the phone and call somebody and I'm connect. I hear a voice on the other end mm -hmm. of the line and they hear a voice on my end. And that is connecting us again, multi-generational because we have younger, yeah. the younger youth kids that are connecting with the older kids. Hey, is there anything I can do? Can I work in your yard? Um, yeah. is there that you need, can I pick up groceries for you? And so that is hopeful because we mm. are able to connect back to where we were in the very beginning um, without just being impersonal and sending an email or sending a text like, hey, how are you? Um, you are actually being able, without being face-to-face, -face, you're actually hearing another warm voice on the end of the line. And so I hope we continue that even if we ever get back to normal, what normal will be. 
um, I hope we continue to make, continue to make it personal. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us for What's Working Wednesday. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me.